What's going on, guys? Welcome to day three of the Eco Global Survival Experiment. Things are getting wild. While I'm offline, people are building some crazy stuff. Apparently, this guy's building the capital. It's, 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 that's, oh my god. Poor trees. The poor trees. I'm a little scared. My gosh. But if you guys are just joining us, like the video, subscribe if you're new here. Be sure to check out that playlist link down below. So that way you guys can catch up on the series in case you missed anything. I would highly recommend watching at least the first episode if you're confused because I explain everything there. And of course, if you want to join the server discord link down below and uh, like and comment. I'm still curious. How long do you guys think we're going to last? Now that you're seeing day three, let me know by the end of the episode. So yesterday, you guys saw that uh, we had farmed. We had set up our farm. All of our tomatoes grew, which is epic. We actually, I mean, geez, how many tomatoes? We got 99 tomatoes off of that. Uh, all of our beets are grown now, too. So we're going to start cooking up some food. And then today on stream, we're going to probably run around the server trading our food for uh, goodies. I need furniture. I need wood. Um... I need a stove of some sort to do the next level up in advanced cooking. There's a lot of different things that I need. And since I am the cook, I am going to cook. So that's what we're going to start doing right now just to get things going. I think we're just going to do a crap ton of charred tomatoes. Gosh. We just, you know, 100 charred tomatoes. How about that? That's going to take 50 minutes to do 100 charred tomatoes. But they'll be good for trading. And tomatoes are mainly giving us carbs and vitamins. So we need something that's going to give us more protein. I might need to go hunting a little bit so that way I can trade some protein. But first, of course, we always need more wood. Always. Our rice grew as well, but I think rice is a, a one-time harvest, if I'm not mistaken. Or we did something wrong. Maybe it died? It, like, turned, like, gray. I feel like I did something. Maybe rice doesn't grow in this biome. That's fine. I think we'll probably just stick to beets and tomatoes. This is our wheat, though. Our wheat actually came along pretty all right. Not too bad. Not too bad. We have a lot of wheat now. So what we need to do is hit up a mason today and see if we can't trade for a mill. So that way we can mill the wheat down into flour and make bread. But I'd have to go up in baking by then, which could be something I can grind today for sure. All right, we got arrows. Let's go out hunting and uh, try to get ourselves some meat that we can trade. Ah, it's because I'm on property that I cannot hunt on because someone else owns it. What the heck is happening over here? Dude, there is so many people playing this server. Holy crap. Wowzers. Okay. There's like a ramp over there. Wow, things are getting wild. I don't even know where to hunt at this point. I think everything's like taken. There's no land for me to hunt on. Uh-oh. We can kill this guy, maybe. Come here, you stupid wolf. Nope, he poofed. There he is. Easy. Two shot. Get pwned. Yoink. We're going to have to hunt a lot more than that if we're going to trade meat and... Uh, Meat and veggies. God dang it. Quit owning the area. I'm trying to kill this dang wolf. Let me hunt on your property. Dang it. Where did that just die? Oh, there it is. Awesome. We are getting busy. We have a lot of animals. Gosh, it is getting so difficult to hunt with the amount of people. Like, I have to wait and look at the bottom right to make sure I'm authorized to be in the area. Otherwise, I cannot hunt the animals there. It makes things really difficult when you just have to add an extra layer of, uh, paying attention. Good thing the animals are super laggy, and sometimes they just sit still for you. But they keep going onto this guy's property for sanctuary. Quit it! Let me murder you. All right, well, I guess we'll just take what we got and cook it down. I, I, the more I keep thinking about it, too, like, I want to trade meat and cooked veggies for furniture and stuff to get more XP, as well as to get a mill and, like, whatever that is. I want that. How did that guy get that? I want that. That right there. Who are you? What's your name? JK Lakes. 
I need I need a stove. How the heck did you craft one of those? How did you do it? I'm still the only one in cooking. Get wrecked. So eventually I'm going to have a monopoly on this server. I'm going to own all of the food. Everybody will come to me for their dietary needs. Oh, I think I just died over there. Heck yeah, I got another elk. We are definitely over hunting, but you know what? YOLO. Yeah, instead of, you know, we're going to cook these tomatoes for like ourselves. Out of fuel. Of course it is. I'm going to move the coal from this campfire to that campfire. Coal burns so freaking well. It is outrageous how long coal burns. Maybe I'll trade for some coal. You can see, as I mentioned before, why why I don't want to trade meat and stuff is because I want to get baking so I can make bread. Because bread is going to easily sell as like part of a balanced nutrition. All we have to do is have like a good fatty meat, bread, and vegetables. And ultimately, we sell that to people. So that way they have a balanced nutrition for the goodies that they have. But I feel like I need baking for that. But the only way to get baking is to get 10 of these research papers. And to get 10 of these research papers, you need to do three fried vegetables or fi and five salads. Or you can also do the basic meat trade up, which is 20 pieces of meat. So this is what I'm going to grind out today. And then hopefully get like bread and like real stuff cooking today before uh we log off maybe i can even take out like a loan from a carpenter and be like hey i will repay you in really good food um once i have it maybe i could do something like that because just getting the extra xp overnight is going to help me go up in my professions even more but for right now let's go ahead and get all of these guys cooking there we go that's all cooking and I can even get this going. 12 of these, because those are campfire salads. So those are important. And I might actually cancel these right now and just do fried tomatoes, because we need the fried tomatoes for our objective. All right, so uh, that's kind of the intro. And now I'm going to pop on stream and just kind of work and uh, maybe get some trades going. We should definitely trade for like next level up building what is the next level up building what's the next level up in building material stone granite or other metal and stones well i'm looking to purchase that then who needs food and who has stone building blocks trading food for a tier two building let me know. All right. Let's learn baking. Boop. There goes all my energy. That's going to take a whole 15 minutes. All right. It's so cool to see roads popping up, man. You move so much faster with roads, too. What in the hell? Who's building the goddamn castle? We even got some wheelbarrows going, dude. I need some of these. These are so, uh, so useful. Who is this? Who is this boy? Oh my God. Look at this place. I suck. Are you selling this building stone? I'm curious because this is what I'm looking for. I can. I got good foods. Name the price. That not tier two? This isn't tier two? How is this not tier two? I don't even care if it's not tier two. It looks beautiful. Oh, he's just going to sell it? Wait, so I get it. So now this guy comes to my store and buys my food, and then I come here and buy his... That's how that shit works. I'm a dumbass. I'm going to go set up my store. I'm going to go set up my store. But how do I get... Wait, chat, I'm stupid. Okay. Extreme Gate, thanks for the four months. So if I can't buy from him, I can't go into debt. How does somebody get credits from that person? You catching my drift here? There's no global currency. And if I can't go into debt, how am I going to purchase? I get it. I get it. You got to put it in the purchasing. All right, then I'm just going to set up a store. 
and I'm gonna look for mortared stone and 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 building stuff. You need stuff. a cart. I got one. I got this. 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 All right. So I need a store. So we need to chop down some trees. But he wants beet campfire salads. So let me go grab some beet campfire salads real quick, right? And I can get his credits for the beet campfire salads, and then I can buy that stone, and then I could use that for building. As much as I don't think one beet campfire salad for one building block is even remotely fair, I'll do it for now. Off of principle. Here we go. First trade. First trade. Beet campfire salad. 17 for 17, right? So now we're both at zero. You only carry 15 in your hands at a time. Ah, big brain, big brain, big brain. Thanks. Thanks, digital. Supply more and I'll be back. I'm, I'm, yeah, hell yeah. I'll even talk to him. Maybe I can get a little bit more for my, uh, my what's it called? Wait, are these, these are the building blocks, right? Can, how do I make them like flat? And these are just tier one, right? But it looks so cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the, like, the bottom foundation of our house in these. Make it look nice. You do, like, F, right? Make them into walls. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Okay. 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 Boom. Okay. So then we need to get more, and then we're going to put them, we're going to rotate and wrap these around to be, like, the bottom they're just going to, this is just going to be the bottom of our house, right? And then we're going to just push these logs back and build it up. Let's see if he'll sell the binoc for two instead of one. Because this is extremely well-balanced carbs and fats. And then all you need to do is eat meat and vegetables and you're like good to go. Like this is some of the best stuff. But what I really need to do is get my store set up, man. Because I can just put this binoc in the store and sell it for like five credits. And just buy a whole bunch of building supplies and hewn logs and stuff. Should I ask him put up for three? I'm not trying to be too greedy. I also got all this tallow from for free. And then I can buy 15 more mortared stone. And bring that back to work on my house. <gasps> this is going to be so fun. I can't wait for everybody to be trading items and stuff. A man's making a road. To my house. Um... I'm going to end up claiming this side and taking this over at some point, though. But, I mean, I appreciate it. And a bridge! You mean to tell me there are seven bison left? No one touch bison. They are dying. If you see someone kill a bison, we shall have a hearing on punishment drown them like witches <laughs> enact a law nah that's too that's too big brain i totally did not contribute to the bison being murdered nope not at all if they're a witch they'll float is that that's monty python on the holy grail yes we did it okay storage it's linked to this bin. And it's still saying these are sold out. Okay. And then we want to sell 76 charred tomatoes. Submit. 76. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know the prices yet. We're going to figure this out. And then mushrooms. We have 64 of those. That'll be a base price for now. And then 50 charred beets. And we throw those into storage. And then we're going to have a stockpile specifically for what people are buying. And then we have 11 campfire jungle salads. Okay, so... I want, personally, hewn logs. Submit. And we'll do one hewn log. Is one. Max to buy. So is this how many I will buy? I don't want to have like a billion because I don't want people just giving me a shit ton of hewn logs and then I don't need hewn logs anymore, you know? What do you think is like a good... I'm setting my own prices. I don't care what they usually are. I have a monopoly on the cooking here. I can do whatever I want. What else do we want to buy though, chat? 
We want like some furniture, right? Ooh, crafting tables. I really need not a kiln. What do I need to buy? A kitchen. I will set up. I will. I will legitimately buy a kitchen. Some people are selling campfire food, but I have the efficiency, so I'm doing it a lot faster, and I'm focusing on it. So I have a lot of uh, a lot in supply. Is 50 for a kitchen? Is that not uh, not enough? That's like 25 charred tomatoes. That's like, I'm going to set this to like 20, I think. No, I'm trying to think of it like in terms of how long it took me to craft that. It's just the tallow. So it's like 10 spare. Charred tomatoes, are really, they don't cost anything, but I'm going to sell them. I'm going to sell all the charred stuff for two. And the campfire salads doesn't require tallow to craft. So we'll leave it at five. I think this is pretty fair priced. 50 is good for the kitchen. Okay. This is the type of stuff that I'll just bargain with people for, because I don't really know what I need or want yet. Honestly. We want a couch, but I don't think anybody can do that yet. What is this? Cast iron stove. I need that, right? But that's probably worth a whole bunch. Unlimited tallow? Do we want to do unlimited tallow? Yeah, because tallow is going to get us to cook everything that we want to cook. All right. Store is open. Come, 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 come. Can I sit? No, I can fake sit. Oh, oh, close that. Close that, close that. Boop. Let's see if we got that. Look at all the people. All the people purchasing things from me. Oh my god. People buy stuff? Oh, I think I sold the jungle stew. Or a couple of them. We're selling some stuff, dude. Oh, hewn logs. Look at that. We made 15 hewn logs. Of, oh my god, 30! And two tallow! It's, it's, it's. Hell yeah. Store's open, boys! Not the bad, not the bad, not the bad. We already got some logs going, and then as people see what's for sale, you know, they'll uh, eventually do stuff. But 30 logs, man, just like that. Easy, poggers. So, that's gonna do it for today's episode. You guys didn't see a lot of the building that happened on livestream. We're currently in the process of uh, trying to make it nice and pretty inside and out. Um, it's coming along well. It's coming along well. It's looking, it's looking like a farmhouse. It truly is. The capital's getting a little wild as well. And uh, some people are building houses around me. We're going to start having a village going soon. The roads are rocking. This is all the wood that I've currently... And all the tallow. Wow, I've been offline for 10 minutes, maybe? Let's see how much we've actually sold. We don't have too much left of the jungle salads or the campfire stews. And we've gotten... I mean, enough wood to pretty much finish our house next time. And we even got the stone that we wanted, the 25. 38 tallow total. And I think people will probably start selling stuff just to keep credits too once I start selling more expensive stuff. You know, kind of like a a bonus. I also owe a lot of people food too. So once I get some more advanced foods, we'll get that going as well. But wow, this is already turning out really great. Um, the live stream went excellent. Everybody had a great time. We had like an average of like 250 people in there the entire time, which is wild. Um, of course, you guys know where to find the links all down below if you're looking to watch that live stream. Um, we also have this room over here now, too. The plan is to have this upper deck up here be an attic where we're going to put a lot of storage containers. And I also want to hire some people to dig out my ground so I can do a basement where my stockpiles are. I don't like how these look outside like this. I'd like to just have the whole, like, cube underneath my house be dug out and filled with stockpiles. So that way I can just, like, easily work with it. And these stockpiles are actually too far away from the campfires to use... So that's kind of obnoxious. I guess I could pick up and move the campfires a little closer and get them done. But I also went up in the efficiency in camping, which I'll show you here right now. This is just based on how much campfire cooking I have do, have done. I have an efficiency, so it increased the efficiency by 20% when it shares the room with the same like cooking item. So these are all these are both going 20% better, which is awesome. And uh Next time, I think we're going to work on the next chunk of the house and maybe dig out the basement a little bit. And um, 
hopefully by tomorrow some more people have some more uh, specialty points so that way they can go up in the next stuff because I'm truly looking to purchase these items right here on the right side the kitchen the butchery table and the mill um, I might even you know but we're gonna bump these up I want people to be incentivized to uh, make these because I really need them to up my cooking game so that's nice but thank you guys for stopping by today's episode. If you could like, and I um, did mention earlier, let me know how long you think the server is going to last before it dies. We almost, uh, listen, our bison almost went extinct. There was seven bison left in the world. Seven. And if we look at the map here, we can actually start to see some issues arising already. Um, so debris is really a problem. This is the forest that I cut down. You can see where everybody's kind of rocking and rolling, where there's way too much debris, which causes... I don't know if a fire can start or maybe it just doesn't allow the things to grow around it. Right now, air pollution, not a problem. Nobody's industrialized yet. Uh, debris, we like I just showed you. Player activity, this is a really nice spot to look at if you guys are just joining the server, by the way. So you can see where most people are not active. Like if you build here, you're not going to be on top of a whole bunch of people. It's just kind of nice. Um, but other than that, it's, it's going well so far. Everybody's been pretty nice. Nobody's really breaking any rules. We're all kind of working together. And uh, it's been fun so far. Let's see if, like I said, by day 21, we can shoot down the meteor, which is right there. Peace out, guys.